are you? Who are you? What's up everybody, I'm your host Jesse B with Pop the Trunk Toys and today we are featuring first ever TFC presentation of Luminant. This is TFC's first release ever of their own design. It's a J20 Chinese uh, fighter and I would say that I'm very excited to bring this to you here today. Um, the J-20 is a fantastic looking fighter from the, the, their Air Force and let's just take a look at this product box real quick. There's a bunch of exciting different things here as you see the J-20 Luminant uh, sci, -fi, uh, sci figure there industry craft series CS01 and this is uh, 2035 here figure is looking fantastic on the box art you get another picture j20 luminant on the side here you get the fighter and the figure on the back <clears throat> okay you get um so the way he's uh, posable on there. You got the actual figure. You got uh, all the little things that he could do on here. The back of the figure and the jet mode and the actual picture of their jet. And when I mean them, I, uh, the Chinese Air Force. It's very nice. <clears throat> now, the good thing is when you see this, it has a nice opening where you get a nice picture of the figure inside you got a artwork comic book here showing all these uh, different things of a guy waking up fighter pilot obviously these are fighter uh, mech pilots so it's kind of like a Robotech thing here going on Against which is kind of interesting is some kaiju ness going on, so it's kind of got that um, people versus the kaijus, and you got the different monsters here on there looking very cool. Some dark people on there. What is that? That's this. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, you got some more action going on, and then we got our first look at the fighter. Now, look at that. It looks awesome. I want to say I can't wait to open up this box. And on this side, you got the the figure and schematics and whatnot of the figure and a bunch of stuff I cannot read. So sorry, but let's take a look at that. All right, now to see the product. Let's get out. All right, oh, don't even need it. I was gonna get out the handy dandy. All right, let's see what's inside. All right, very nice. Comes in a nice styrofoam. <clears throat> See here, looks good. On the bottom, has a flight stand and a gun. You get your packet of instructions here. Some nice art, anime art looking style. Very cool. All right, let me get them out of the box and we'll be right back. All righty, folks, and here we have Luminate out of his packaging, suited and booted and ready for takeoff. And my first and fourth thoughts is this thing is awesome. I, I just can't. Uh, the only problem I would say that I have with this thing right now is where to place it. Do I place it with my Macross stuff? Do I place it with my Transformers? 
um, is the only field that I, I, I'm a little bit confused on because it's literally in its own little pocket kind of thing. Uh, due to scale, due to, um, you know, <laughs> having uh, cockpit fighters or pilots or whatnot, um, that is basically what I'm just uh, confused with. But, I mean, I, I get, like, if I was to put it in my Transformers, I'd probably maybe put it, um, an Autobot symbol on them due to the to the mech mode. But uh, I might keep it as, like, Robotech style, I guess. But you can see here that the paint scheme is beautiful. That is second to none. You got metals in here. You got the, the die cast. You have the rolling wheels. You have all the different panel lining on here. Making it super realistic. Uh, very nice. Let me get this stuff real quick. Pull it off. As you see the detailing on this thing. Panel lining for the jets. It looks beautiful. Definitely has a nice weight feel to it underneath is nice and clean sculpted very nice excellent work here I mean for TFC's own design hats off looks great now let's get to accessory real quick you have the long sniper uh, weapon here kind of reminds me of it like a Barrett type weapon looks pretty cool this can also plug in underneath here you have like a little slot groove that goes in carry the plane plane mode or you could slider and peg it, peg it in right here on the wing but the only thing about that is I wish I had another one pretty cool now for the flight stand, it's pretty awesome design. Slide out for different modes. And that you put it for the, the mech in the air. An also cool feature is um, it has like a star shape to it, but these are uh, bendable and you can play, put them away. If that's not your style, you don't want a star, you could have it in this triangular shape. Pretty cool. Very nice. Let's do some size comparisons really quick. You can see the scale on this. <clears throat> here we go here. Now, for Transformers, it doesn't really scale well with the F-15s, unfortunately. As you can see, it is dwarfed by the size. unfortunately and for scale I mean the cockpits are not even the same <clears throat> here I got one of the fans toys I mean it looks fantastic it does kind of hold its own but I just wish it was just a little bit bigger actually maybe a lot bigger I would say Okay, now let's get it next to a Macross. This is the old school masterpiece. And you can see that it's kind of getting to scale here. Looking good. Almost there, almost there. Slightly just underneath the scale. And here's one of their old school Macross Jets. All right, that's it for my size comparisons. Okay, so as I said er earlier, you have the wheels in the bottom. They roll just fine here, pretty good. Uh, they're a little bit of hassle because you have to do you have to pop this open and then uh, release the, a secondary uh, flap in there and then fold them in. But uh, they are they do work and function just fine. They roll just 
perfectly. And just pay, pay attention to the details on here. You got green, red lights on the back, a bunch of nice tempo on there. I mean, thing is detailed to the nut. I wish the canopy would open. I mean, they say there's mech fighters, so but there's no pilot in there, and no extra little extra little pilot to go on there. So let's get it transformed and be right back. Alrighty, folks, and now we have Luna here in his robot mode, suited, booted, ready to rock and roll. And I would say this guy is gorgeous. Really good looking here. I mean, the die cast metals, the plastics, the, the feel, the weight to him. Um, everything's coming together in this package, you know. And I really like, you know, the flaring of the wings in the back. Gives it kind of a, a Macross Gundam style type of looking uh, figure here. Um, you know, him with the long sniper rifle and the way that, uh, you know, he fits on the stand here. Looks absolutely uh, gorgeous. Now, if we just take him off the stand here, which just plugs into the back here, just like so right here, and then this would just normally collapse. So he has a tail fin. As you can see here, he has uh, lots of die cast parts all in him, looking very well. Has uh, the typical TFC hands. He has uh, double pins right here. All these are articulable in the back. You can put them to any style you want. This is the face sculpt that he has on him. That's why I mentioned earlier <laughs> that I would slap an Autobot sticker on him if, if anything, because he looks like a good guy. Good guy, sniper mode guy. Pretty cool. Now he is, oh, he got some nice ratchets on him too. He does look, very good, excellent figure to have in the collection. Um, just the size wise on him, as we can give some quick comparisons really fast. You just see that kind of hard where you're gonna place him. Now here he is next to the to the robot tech figure masterpiece that I showed earlier. And he's getting towered over, which is gonna be in the eye of the holder I guess here he is next to a masterpiece oops um, masterpiece figure here dirge slightly shorter but still looks good the materials on him feel fantastic the paint job is awesome it's just you know like like I said it might just be have to be its own standalone figure I mean, they are coming out with their own stuff, so that's kind of cool. Let's hope we get more soon. And here he is next to a, a, a leader class figure from this um, War for Cybertron series. And you can see that that actually matches very well. Just that this one looks more superior than this one because um, with all the building material, it is. Now, as far as articulation goes, the head moves up, it moves down, it gives you a side to side so so look. Can spin all the way around. Does have light piping, which um, is okay, I guess. I uh, just don't like the dead eyes. I'd rather have some paint on there. Um, like I said, it gives you a far down. The shoulder is on no ratchet. Can get you far back in front. The only thing is the um, shoulder pad here hinders the bot. So, I mean, you could lift it up out of the way. Um, it does get you up to here with this panel cheating. It has a, a bicep swivel, a double hinged elbow. and get you up to the range up to here. Swiveling hand, uh, double pinned. One at the, uh, um, at the double of the knuckles. And then the fingers and get you a, a nice clamped fist on the, sh um, the bottom and does have a waist swivel uh, you have these floating pads right here so 
and get you up that degree get you to the back uh, with then we kind of hitting the, the, the back skirt um, can get you out for the booyah kick boom there you go um, okay knees on the double get you up to here there is a thigh swivel on the the, um, the toe there is a rocker for the toe very nice or the, the heel the ankle rocker and then the toe spur right here um toe spur front toes can move and you got the ankle rocker which is very nice it's a really good figure folks um not sure about the 200 hundred dollar price range but it is fantastic and i hope to see the next uh, the next uh vehicle that comes out the next robot to see where they're gonna go i hope they keep it up um it seems like a great like army line type uh, vehicles coming out you got the helicopter i seen a like a huge uh carrier plane on there really cool stuff um like i said you like it folks uh it it really is uh good material here not not a bad row at all so this will conclude my video if you like it please hit the like and subscribe till next time this is jesse b out